Ahoy there! Welcome aboard the Bottleship. I'm the captain of this vessel, and I've been modifying guitars, swapping out components, and whatnot for a while now. And as such, I have accumulated a number of extra components. In fact, I have everything I need to make a whole new guitar. Save for one vital piece. I do not have a body for this theoretical hodgepodge Frankenstein's monstrosity. But I got to thinking, guitar bodies are typically just made out of wood. And although I don't have any fancy tone wood blanks to delicately carve into a desirable shape, but what I do have is a two by four. Here. Let me draw this really cool and technical design that I've come up with for this. All right, so we've got our two by four piece here. And then there's a neck. I'm gonna carve out a neck pocket. And the neck goes up here. There's a neck headstock. And uh, get a pick up here. And a pick up here. And a bridge here. Get a plug thing with a cord. And look! Super technical! As for the pickups, I was going to just use one single coil pickup, but I feel like that setup is just asking for feedback and the buzz of a thousand bees. So I'm going to use two pickups and have one reverse wound to hum cancel. I'm going to put one at the bridge location and then one at the neck. Give me the widest range of sound possible. Will it work? I have no idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to have a, a volume control somewhere. I haven't decided where. It's probably, probably, it's probably going to be down here. Now I'm adding the volume control because I'd like to be able to kill the sound if things get <laughs> a little out of hand. <laughs> no, these things, these things happen. And I'm definitely not bothering with a switch or anything because, well, it's a, it, it's a two by four guitar. There's no need to get fancy. I also do not possess the proper tools, so uh, this is may very well end up being one of the jankiest guitars ever built. And if that happens to be the case, then I will take pride in that accomplishment. What is it that we do have to work with? Wood. I've got these uh, single poil, single poil. Yes, single poil. Look at these. Uh, Mm -hmm. I've got these single coil pickups that were originally in the uh, glow in the dark guitar that I did. I'm only going to use two of them. I'm going to use the use one of these two in the middle one because it's reverse wound. And for the bridge, I got this uh, from eBay, and I think I paid like twelve dollars for it or something. I don't remember. It was a while back. I was going to use it to replace the uh, bridge on my Squire, but uh, the bridge on the Squire is. Uh, superior to this one, so that's not happening. I'll just use it for this. I have this neck from the uh, Starcaster. Uh, the tuners, um, I have some nice Fender tuners. I don't really want to put it on this janky guitar, so I might swap out one of my other guitars. I haven't decided yet. It's really all I need to make this thing happen. Yep. To the workbench. Sorry about the buzzing. The light above my workbench hates me. All right, so I measured the center point on here. Guitars are extremely precise instruments. Yes, they require accurate measurements. Well, oh, no tape. I mean, you can't just trace the neck and expect it to be right. But I don't expect it to be right. The real question is, where is the center line here? I just want to remind everyone that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go along. If that looks straight to you. I also uh, would like to point out that I do not own the proper tools for uh, routing this neck. Uh, so I'm going to do it all wrong. <laughs> mm, money, money, That'll work. Probably should measure this first. Now, I don't have anything to route this out. But I do have a jigsaw. The problem is I don't have a blade that'll go down to the right depth that'll go too far. So if I add this, well, then now the blade reaches the right height. All right, let's not chop my fingers off, okay? No finger cutting. That's not too bad. This isn't dangerous at all. That's exactly how this is supposed to be done. This may very well be one of the dumbest things I've ever done. 
Hopefully I don't lose any fingers. Good enough for me! <laughs> oh boy, that was an adventure. <laughs> I cut across this way, saw it around here, and then I had to use this guy to clean it up. And now, that's a good fit. The measure where the screw hole goes for the neck, I just put this broken uh, drill bit in here. Sticks out just a little bit, and you put the neck on like you normally would. Give it a little pound and observe. It left a mark. So now I know where to drill. I just have to try to drill straight. Now I only have uh, three out of four of the screws for the neck, but uh, how important are screws anyway? What's the worst that could happen? <clears throat> That's really bad. <laughs> Now the bridge and pickup placement has to be exact. No guesswork here. Yep, that looks about right. Oh, the precision. I was really hoping I was done with this jigsaw, but uh, I don't see how else I'm gonna get through this. Most. Uh -oh. oh no. <sighs> I don't want this uh, trim block because I'm not putting a tremolo on here. So I'm taking it off. I'm just gonna mount directly to here. Oh, but doesn't that bridge have a string through body design? How are you gonna manage that? Drill holes in the body? Get this action. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> uh, my workbench has become a beautiful disaster. Anyway, so now that I've played with this thing and deduced uh, what all I did so horribly wrong that needs to be remedied, I uh, borrowed this back plate and some screws from a another guitar. I'm gonna uh, secure the neck a little better so that warbling doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't have a bad tone. Anyway. That's what I'm gonna do. You know that old saying, measure twice, cut once? Well, funny thing, it turns out that if you don't measure at all, it's even worse.
something. I was right about it being janky. And as frustrating as this thing was to build, I am proud of it. I'm just happy that it works and that I didn't completely waste my time. The intonation's still off. The action's still really high. But I don't care, because uh, it has served its purpose. Uh, there were a lot of... Uh opportunities for learning here and I certainly did learn I kind of like the way it sounds it plays about how it looks pretty bad but um, it works that's about all I got thanks for watching good luck on all the things and I'll see you later